Hey guys, this is Mega, and today I am going to discuss about Azure AD B2C, that is Azure Active Directory uh, Business to Consumer Identity as a service. And using this service, customers can use their uh, social, enterprise, and local account identities in a single sign-on process to get logged into Azure. So before I start this topic, I would uh, request you all to please like, share, and subscribe uh, my channel so that uh, I get to know that you are you guys are liking my work and I should continue this kind of activity. So let's get started. This is my Azure portal, and right now I have uh, logged into this with my default directory, default account. This is uh, not a B2C account, this is a normal account. I have to create a B2C tenant in it. And so let's see how we can do that. So let's start with creating a tenant first of all. So I'll click on Azure Active Directory here. And here I have manage tenants. So here I'm going to create a new tenant. So this is Active Directory B2C tenant. Here I will add some name of this tenant. ORG. Let's keep both the things name. Let's keep the city US. And resource group as of now I can use. Okay, this is an already existing one. So let's make it. It's just a random number that I have added to make it unique and the name should be it can be different but let's make it same so resource group we can use already existing one that is this one and if we are good we are good with the details so let's create it. the validation is good so let's create it so guys as we can see the tenant is created and we can see in the notification tenant has been created so now let's do one thing let's try to switch our directory to the new tenant that i have created i cannot see it here so i think i should close my azure portal and open it again So let me try to switch the tenant to the tenant that I have created. Yes, now I can see that. So let's click on switch here. So now you can see all the activities that I'll be doing in this tenant will be completely segregated from the uh, activities that I did previously on my <coughs> previous tenant. It is a, an entirely new portal, the screen which we see usually when we get logged in, in when most of the people get started with Azure for the very first time. So now I need to go to Azure Active Directory and create a user within this tenant. Right now it doesn't have any user, so I'll create one user here. Yeah, no, sorry, I have a default user, which is actually the uh, user account with which I logged in. So I'll create a new user here. It should be a B2C user. Sign in method would be email. Email would be... Let's name here. Let's generate the password. So these are the names that will that that will be using for the as username. So let's create it. So this is the user that we have created. Now um, there is one more thing that we should do before going to our demo uh, of uh, using the authentication thing. We should have an uh, we should go to Azure AD B2C here and 
here we can see we have user flows so let's click on this user flow we are going to create a user flow because uh, this user flow actually lets us uh, know which details of the user we want to flow in our application when we use this particular tenant for authentication so let's name it aad new flow and we have the identity providers email sign up mfa force so let's click some details that we want to be returned when we are logged in as a successful user uh, these are the uh, collect attribute these are the details that would be returned in the claim so yeah there are many we can select all so, but I think for demo purpose this should be fine for us so let's click on ok here and create uh, let's keep a copy of this name that we have created this will be used by us so guys uh, this detail this is the prerequisite basically that is required for us to uh, start the video to start the main demo and uh, now uh, what I will do is I will use this particular tenant and do some uh, authentication authorization stuff